Hey y'all, thanks for stopping in. Appreciate taking the time out of y'all's busy schedule to stop in and see what it is I'm up to. Uh, senior moment, boneheaded moment, I don't know what. Um, I picked up the little Jeep rat at school and I was busy yakking yakking with my mom and not thinking. I just went ahead and drove all the way to his house and realized when I pulled up in the driveway, oh no, I was supposed to pick up the two older boys too because my schedule's different every day. <laughs> uh, so we're going to head back to the school. Let's see, am I going to make this light? Uh, close enough. What, buddy? Can we go to the park? I don't know. It might be raining. It's not raining. I know it's not raining now, but look at the sky. Ugh. Well, let's see. I've got plenty of time, I think, to get back to the school. Well, I know I've got plenty of time. It's only about 10 to 2. They get out at 10 to 3. Uh, the, main, the main problem is how much of a line will I find when I get back to the school. So, uh, I can be there in 10 to 15 minutes, so it shouldn't be too bad of a line to wait in. all schools but for people that are that are driving you know, pick up their kids uh, there can be a hundred cars in that line and it takes forever to you know creep your way forward I hate doing that <coughs> excuse me I would rather sit for an hour twiddle my thumbs or play on YouTube or whatever then try to creep my way up through that traffic for a half hour, 45 minutes I don't want to go that way so yeah, right now we're on Beach Boulevard just past the <coughs> Excuse me, the Goodwill that I usually go to. Oh. And this is the intersection of St. John's Bluff and Beach Boulevard. Come on, people, that light's been green for an hour. My brother says I'm a patient. Um, yeah, we've been at this intersection coming from the right here on St. John's Bluff. I'll post videos of that. I'll post links to that of those videos. When I get back to the house and get to posting and doing all my other stuff on the videos. Come on, people.
University of North Florida Drive, Town Center Parkway, South 295, Butler Boulevard, Daytona Beach. Coming up here on the right, you'll see this big, tall screen fence thing. That is a golf place. Uh, pro golf, I think. It, you just barely make out the three tiers of building that's back there. You can, sh you can shoot a golf ball, I guess. Hit a golf ball from any one of those levels out into that out into their area there. Which, I guess it's a good thing if you're into golf. It doesn't really... I'm not, so I don't know. But they're really building this all up. More and more and more townhouses. Townhouses, condos, apartments, whatever. I've got a a YouTube friend that I've I watched him for a long time, uh, Denoy from Living in a Van. He lives down in the Melbourne area um, of Florida, a little further south of me. He was saying the other day he doesn't like Jacksonville because of all these flyovers and underpasses and overpasses. He didn't like coming to Jacksonville or Miami because of all this stuff. I can totally understand it. I mean, I've been here for 30 years, and I've been dealing with this stuff as it goes up. It's confusing. It really is. All right, we are on Butler Boulevard, JTB. Off to the left would be the D Dot Ranch. Uh, this exits for Kernan Boulevard, which is where I usually go I'm coming up onto JTB when I'm taking the boys, when I'm going to get the boys. So I've got a couple of videos of this intersection. One and a half miles to Hodges Boulevard. Well, yeah, I'm not running. I'm not going to be that late getting back there. Uh, it's another one of those things. I wasn't planning on making a video. <laughs> uh, just kind of, you know, it is what it is. Uh, do I have time to get past him? Popping the speed limit by all that much. Whoa! Somebody just threw a stone on my windshield. Luckily, it didn't break. You know, they need to make one of those uh, screen shields like they do for your phone. How cool would that be to put on your windshield? Prevent like stone breaks and whatnot. I think that's a good idea. I'm just throwing it out there free. If somebody wants to do it, there you go. You got a great idea. Great product. Anyway. Alright, we are close enough to the school. I am going to say... Let me know what you think, folks. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Leave me a comment. Wherever it is, y'all leave comments on your internet access device of choice. You see that gate over there to the D Dot Ranch? Yeah. Uh.
If you'd like to share me around on your social media, that'd be Fandoculus. If you'd like to check me out on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter, I'll have links in the description box, uh, along with uh, links to similar videos, and you'll find my email, my snail mail, and yeah, yada, yada, yada. If you love those nearby, give them a kiss and a hug. If they're not, give them a call. Hit them up on Facebook, let them know you think about them, let them know you love them. We ain't promised tomorrow, people. We ain't promised our next breath. Until I see y'all again, hope you have a fan day. Slouchy, y'all. Bye-bye.